So can you tell me what you've got here at Dunarban? What sort of processes do you undertake it on this site? Uh, here at Dunarban we take in household waste, all types of recyclable materials, green waste, curbside waste, we, we, we landfill, um, we take skip waste, all, all sorts. We do you know, a variety of all sorts of waste really, we can accept. And after you've accepted this waste, you, you, you've weighed it in, what sort of processes do you actually do here? Processes, um, mechanical, biological treatment through our black bin waste that, that's received at Dunarban. Uh, clean green waste that you can see in the background here, we take and, and shred up and compost down into a material that can be uh, used on farms or by horticulturalists, um, gardeners. We, we have to shred it up yeah, through a high speed shredder to, to break the material down and then we, we, we windrow it as you can see at the back here and then we have to go through a process where we have to achieve uh, 55 centigrade yeah, for uh, 14 days um, and after that time it's deemed uh, clean but we carry on turning it, adding water to it trying to break the material down as much as possibly so after around 16, 17 weeks we can screen it out and get a nice compost from it. And what is that compost used for? That's used for, again, gardeners, restoration on roadsides, restoration on landfills, uh, it can go to farmland, pretty much anywhere. What sort of things are delivered to you that will go into this particular type of compost? Uh, it's mainly grass, hedge trimmings, trees, conifer trimmings, it's, it's mainly garden trimmings that's, that's brought in from the household, are taken into the civic amenity sites that's um, probably local to you and um, placed into a 40 yard container that's come here, tipped up basically. Yeah, it's just, just green waste. You talk about turning the compost until it turns into this particular uh, compost output. You use a tractor to do that. Can you describe that a little bit? We, we do. We have a fent. Um, we have a fent tractor, quite, quite a big one, uh, that can be used in reverse action, actually. It can be driven in reverse or driven forward. We can, we can set this turner on it and, and turn this compost. We can water the compost and turn it. And, and, and that's, the, that's the process, basically. Well, the fent can do uh, turning operations that I've spoke of. It can also um, do dust suppression throughout the site because in the summertime when it's hot, we get very dusty. It can move compost by trailer and, and store uh, for the farmer to, to come and collect it. It can mow the landfill for grass. It can mow the grass. It can do a vast variety of, um, of, of jobs, really. It's, you can use one track, have one tractor that will do loads of different jobs. What sort of things can you do with the fence in terms of pre-programming operations? Uh, pre-programming the operation, it can, you can program it so that um, when you're turning green waste, uh, you only actually need one button that will do all the operation. It will start the machine, it will, it will set the machine going. So it's, it's, it's good, that's why we went for Fent. And, and everybody said that um, when, when we was inquiring, um, there's only one tractor out there really that, to do the job and that's Fent. You mentioned composting and farmers. This is, a, this is a very big scale operation here, but is it possible to, for farmers to actually get into this sort of operation? Farmers could do this on a very small scale. They could, yeah. And what sort of inputs, you know, what, what sort of things would they have to do to set up a, a composting operation? They need to get, to, to, to set this sort of operation up, they need to really get a, canc a council contract. Yeah, so that um, they can then lay the money out to invest in something like this, because you've got, Turners and tractors uh, costing uh, 200,000 pounds. Shredders costing 300,000 uh, pounds. So you, you do need some sort of form of contract to, um, to do it properly. 
I noticed there's a, a biodigester over there. Have you got any other kind of renewable energy projects perhaps going forward? Forward, we're, we are looking at, uh, like all companies, we're looking at incineration. We're looking to do more, to get more uh, from this waste. Yeah, so we can produce electricity for, for Britain, basically, rather than going abroad for it.